Hello everybody, so in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys an affordable skincare routine because y'all, I love skincare as much as the next girl but my wallet does not. So I wanted to show you guys some products that are really affordable and really effective when it comes to skincare. And these are all products that I've been using for a long time, like months, even years, some of this stuff. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video and get something out of it. If you do, make sure you give it a thumbs up and also subscribe and make sure you follow my Instagram, which I have makeup pics on there, but like makeup is easier as you apply when you have a nicer base with nice fresh skin. So you know, that's the tea. Yeah, I know the intro is weird, but I really wanted to showcase my pretty lights because I just love them and I'm obsessed with them. I never get to put them on camera. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into the video. I don't know if I should look at the camera or the mirror. This is weird. Okay, I'm in my PJs right now, so don't mind me because I literally was just, I just woke up. First thing I'm going to do is wash my hands because I just cleaned the window and I don't want to put window cleaner germs on my face. So I'm using the Vanilla Bean Noel hand, bot, hand wash, body. I'm going to just wash my hands real quick. And it's probably better to use one without like a fragrance since I'm touching my face, but you know, my skin's not really sensitive to that kind of stuff, so I'm, I'm not really that worried. Okay, sexy. You know how to do that. I only have a towel in here. But next, it's time for face wash. So, um, what I use to wash my face, I actually use the Clean and Clear Morning Burst and Night Relaxing thing for my face. This is the only face wash that I've like tried consistently and like loved. It has like a more like melony citrusy kind of thing. And this is more of like a chamomile, like relaxing nighttime. So I usually use this one in the shower, but I usually do this one in the morning. So yeah, and this is like about four, eight dollars. It's really not that expensive. You can get two face washes, and I don't think they have. Oh, they do have the beads in them, which that hurts my heart because of the environment. But yeah, so I love using this stuff. It works super duper well, and yes. So let's just go ahead. I'll do this one because it's morning time. I need to wash my face. So yeah, let's just use this one. But I love the night one as well. I have to get my face a little bit wet before I put this on it, so really disappointed because I thought that they took the plastic beads out of that face wash, but they didn't. So if anybody has any different product recommendations, please let me know in the comments. So next I like to go in with like a toner. So I either use the simple Myrcella water one or I'll use the Clear Proof, which is by Mary Kay Blemish Control Toner. If I'm like breaking out really bad, I'll use the Blemish Control one. But if it's like regular, like I have a couple bumps here and there, I'll just use the simple cleansing water so I just like to do this as like an extra step just in case the face wash didn't get all the makeup off my skin especially on days when I do like makeup looks and stuff like that that's what I use <laughs> so when it comes to moisturizer I like to use typically mix these two together because they're okay on their own but they're like even better together so the first one I have is the Aveeno Active Naturals Positively Radiant Daily Moisturizer with Sunscreen, which has like SPF 30 in it, which is really good on days that I have work because I'm a lifeguard, you know, got to be protected from the sun. And really natural ingredients, which I love, but this one was also like $11, which is like low-key expensive. So like another really good moisturizer is the Equate Beauty. So basically it's like the Walmart version of the um, Clean and Clear Dual Active Moisturizer one, and it's just the dual power moisturizer. It has salicylic acid medication in it and it's also a really good moisturizer it's really good for dry skin which I do have sometimes and then yeah and it's really really good and it's also not like greasy or oily like it's perfect and I have oily skin too so I have like really dry skin on the outside and then I have like oily skin in my t-zone so this is like amazing for that because it gives me enough hydration without making me like oily or greasy and then this one I can feel like sometimes kind of feels heavy which is why I like to mix it with this one but this is probably it probably feels heavier because it has the sunscreen in it so yeah, so I just like to mix these two together, so I'll just put on a little squirt. And there's nothing wrong with too much moisturizer, to be honest, especially with my kind of weird skin. So yeah, I'll just take those and rub them together, and then just put on my face. And I look crazy, but it's really okay. And then if I have any extra, I'll just put it down my neck, like around my ears and stuff. So, yeah. This next of my routine is probably my favorite, and this is like my sprays so I know there's a lot of controversy about using the Mario Badescu sprays as toners which I don't do that therefore I use them kind of like as like finishing sprays so like for extra hydration just to help my skin and I have noticed that since I started using this my skin has been less red like it used to be like really kind of peachy up here and stuff like that and I don't know if that's just because I haven't gone outside in like two months or <laughs> if it's because of this stuff so I'm gonna just go ahead and say it's because of this and then another one that I have is the Mary Kay Freshen one and it's a part of that same collection as the um, face washes, but it's a little more expensive. So that's why I like the Mario Badescu one because it's $12, which isn't that bad. 
So the last part of my routine is literally like the holy grail part. And that is this Mario Badescu drying lotion. This stuff has literally changed the way my skin, like it just is amazing and I love it so much. So actually looking up close, I actually have a lot of stuff going on in my face. So I'm gonna go ahead and use a lot of this. So you get this drying lotion and it's like separated. So here's like the liquid and then there's the solid part right here, which is what you put on your face, but the liquid kind of keeps it like, you know, moisturized because I'd had one of these before and my dumb self dropped the cap and it dried out. So this is like my old crusty dried out one, as you can see. So never leave the lid off fit and be an idiot like I was because I totally ruined this one. What you do is you take it and you take a Q-tip and you just dip it in. Never dip it in more than once. You go in there, grab some of the solid stuff, pull it out, and then bam. You have a tooth toothpick. <laughs> and at first it burns, but after a while it just feels... Because what it is, it's drying lotion. So you're literally drying out your skin. I'm going to go in with the other side and just apply some of that. It's like literally that's what it is. But yeah, this stuff literally has changed my life. And my skin. And it's it's a little more pricey. It's like $17. So I definitely recommend you go try it. Congratulations y'all. If you're here, that means you're loyal and you stay to the end of this video. If you see this, make sure you comment NYPD in the comment section just so you know, throw everybody off and be like, what is she talking about? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. If you guys want to see more skincare videos from me or if you guys want to see more of like my pamper night routine where I'll do like more like my favorite face masks and stuff like that, like kind of extra steps that I don't do every night and every morning, then make sure you give this video a thumbs up and also make sure you comment down below some more skincare products because I would love to try new things, especially if they're like on the more affordable side. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys learn something or took something from this video and yeah don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time bye